Alright, hello, welcome. My name is Jason Welsh, and welcome to Maya. This should be pretty interesting. I've been teaching Maya for quite some time in the classroom with many walks of life. Uh, adults, kids, you name it. So, I get to see exactly what they screw up. And, you know, it's just fun. The, the first modeling class is just just amazingly, you know, chaotic, where they're like, oh my god, where's my mouse? I don't know. And it's just so funny. But, so now you get to reap the rewards of those mistakes, and I'm going to just break out everything that you can do wrong within Maya uh, for the first couple lessons and go over the menus at the same time. Okay, so at the top we have this menu bar, and we have a drop-down menu bar. Okay, Now you notice that every time I change these, these change. Surfaces goes to the surface menu, polygons, polygon menu. So a lot of times we will get utterly lost and can't figure out where meshes is at until like week four where you realize that, well, polygons are mesh. And then later on you'll fi find out that you have deformers under animation. So sometimes it, it makes sense, sometimes it doesn't. But uh, just know that, you know, always look for this word first within the classroom and then you'll never get lost up in the menu bar. Next, we have these rows. These rows consist of all the tools that are the most handy things within Maya. And we'll go over these on the fly as we're doing little projects. So pay no attention to those. Those never change. Here I have shelves. And each shelf contains little tools and little icons. Okay, and we'll take this example. We're in the polygons and we're in polygon. And I have this little thing. And if I mouse over it, it says extrude. Now, sometimes I'm lazy and I don't want to see, I want to see it before it actually says it. Now, if you look in the bottom left-hand corner down here, as I mouse over these, aha, yes, they pop up with the names. Sometimes I like to save mount my shelves. Save all shelves. Let's say new shelf. Yeah, let's make a new shelf first before we save it. And I'll say this is Jason's shelf. Okay, and Jason's shelf, maybe I have a tool, like the extrude tool, that I want all the time in it. So, control, shift, and click on it, and voila, it pops up. Okay, bridge, control, shift, voila. Okay, and you notice I have save all shelves, but it doesn't do anything. Well, actually it does do something. If you page over to the seventh layer of hell on your hard drive, C drive, documents and settings, administrator, my documents, Maya, 8.5 preferences and shelves. It makes you a little Jason's shelf. And this you can carry on your thumb drive because the college feels that you have to have your computers reset every day. So, you know, by having this um, on my thumb drive, I can just like we'll play imaginary thumb drive for a second and put it on my desktop. And now in Maya, I can go load shelf and go to the desktop and load it and it's already there so that's a quick way to sh save out stuff easily that you're accustomed to and get used to the shortcuts all right so in the next movie i'm going to cover this a little bit more